Let's take a look at how optical flow in motion can give you smoother slow motion results. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've applied a 20% change speed to a clip on my timeline and then duplicated the clip onto V2 and applied a crop so that we can make a comparison. Due to the mathematics applied in this process, sometimes the results can look quite jerky. Let's send one of our clips to motion for some optical flow processing. Right click on the clip and select send to motion project. If we keep the embed motion content ticked, then Final Cut Pro will automatically update any adjustments we make to that clip in motion. And motion will open up your clip in a new project. Select the clip in the project window go to inspector in the top left hand side of your interface and go down to the timing area and under frame blending select optical flow motion will evaluate your media and go and throw in a couple of additional frames where necessary when processing is complete Final Cut Pro will automatically update your timeline to reflect the new clip which it has received from motion Notice also that the speed indicators are different to the speed indicators from the original clip. Let's do a render and take a look at the result.